I don't want to define it. I don't want to define um, feminist art. I think there are a lot of different feminisms, and I think um, I don't understand, you know, um, what it is to define something. I, I don't want to, you know, put it in a box and into a category. It's much more interesting to me that to think about the question, but not to answer it. It is, has a kind of very pointed title. It's an abstraction, but it's called The Dwarves Without Snow White. So gender was on my mind, but also mixing it, bringing it into another kind of the abstraction too. So the titles were kind of a way of having my cake and eating it too. There was Sleeping Beauty, The Dwarves Without Snow White, um, Peggy Lee and the Dalmatians. So I was definitely interested in a certain kind of narrative and politics, but also was interested in how can I get the abstraction in there too. It was influenced early on by what I had seen, especially sculpture installation by women, and then it was trying to, you know, make sense of it for my generation and for my interests. I had eight boxes because if Snow White got her act together, she could have a box. <laughs> but at the time, you know, you had, you know, this kind of very Disney, you know, world that, you know, the dwarves absolutely were much more emotional and more fun. They were having a great time. And in the, I just thought, you know, well, just in case she became, you know, she got to be invited to the party, we'd have a box for her. But also it's like the box for Elijah, the person who is, yes, Snow White is there in spirit, but the dwarves are definitely much more interesting. The boxes were about um, also their dress boxes, their garment boxes, they're the everyday boxes that you put something in. And I had also been interested and um, influenced by folk art. And with um, a hope chest, the decoration is always on the outside, and it usually does not have a kind of relationship. Yes, it could be um, your trousseau, trousseau, is that the word? But also a lot of times it was, you know, um, pure decoration, I love that. So you had the decoration on the outside and empty inside. So the pieces, the decoration is random. It's what it was left up to, out to chance, it's almost like a little paint box. But also you have the kind of rigor and the geometry of Judd, of minimalism. And then I'm draping a very um, kind of irreverent piece of, you know, crushed stretch velvet on top. And then I just opened up dye at this point, it's very early on in the, in the work, random colors and just spilled it all over as if it's kind of like the emotions. So it's totally arbitrary, the order, but it has grounded by that geometry, that kind of minimalism. And, but it also has another, different histories too. The hope chest, a paint box, Judd, all these different histories that I was thinking about, kind of reacting to and reacting against. So you have the decorative and then you have the kind of structure too. It was the first piece to go in a public, of mine, to go in a public collection, which was very exciting. And it was a very important show for, for me, because it really was work that I could say was um, opened up the doors for the work that I'm still doing.